Hello viewers, welcome. My name is Mr. Will Paul. I'm a mathematics and physics teacher. Now, remember this is a top brain show and this is a show where we try to demystify some concepts in physics and mathematics. Now, today we're going to look at physics revision and our topic of discussion is going to be waves one. Welcome. We've talked about waves. Uh, I want to first uh, give the definition of a wave. So, we are going to start by defining a wave. What is a wave? A wave is basically the transmission of a disturbance. So a wave is transmission, transmission of a disturbance. Now, I want to take this example. Now, look, imagine you're dropping a small pebble, a stone, in still waters. Like you can see on the right hand side of your screen, you're dropping a small pebble so the pebble is falling on still waters now the waters as the pebble falls on the water some ripples some ripples core waves form then those ripples seem to be moving outwards they seem to be spreading now that spreading of that disturbance as it falls at the point of impact that's what we are calling wave so a wave is the transmission of a disturbance now we can have types of waves so waves can be grouped now we have two major categories of waves and uh, the first type is called electromagnetic so we have electromagnetic and the other type is called mechanical so we have electromagnetic and mechanical now what are mechanical waves and what are electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves these are waves that do not require a material medium for transmission so remember a wave can either require a material medium for it to move or it can move in what is called vacuum so electromagnetic waves do not electromagnetic waves do not require a material medium a material medium for transmission so in short electromagnetic waves can travel in vacuum examples so let's give uh, examples all waves in the electromagnetic spectrums all the radiations and the waves in the EMS those include radio waves, they include infrared, ultraviolet, visible light, microwaves, microwaves, and many others including gamma and x rays so all these are called electromagnetic waves and they do not require a material medium for them to propagate that means they can travel they can travel in vacuum mechanical waves on the other hand require require a material medium for transmission that means in simple language that they cannot travel in vacuum examples is sound water waves etc now have you looked at the two broad categories of waves uh, we need to also emphasize that waves can further be subdivided according to the way in which they are propagated and this gives rise to two more types of waves transverse 
and longi longitudinal. So waves can further be subdivided as either transverse or longitudinal. Now let's start with transverse. Transverse waves Like you can see on the right hand side of your screen, when a slinky spring is moved up and down, and then the wave moves to and fro, like up and down, but the direction you can see on your screen as the wave, the spring is moved up and down. The wave seems to be moving across. That's uh, from your left hand side to the right hand side. Then the particles move up and down. So, like you can see, as the wave moves in that direction, the motion of particles is up and down. So this kind of a thing the, from the animation, up and down, up and down, up and down. But then the wave seems to be moving from the left hand side to the right hand side. Now. This, in short, gives rise to a waveform that looks close to something like this. So, as you toss it up and down, up and down, the wave is moving like that and creating hills and ditches, hills and valleys. Now, this region here the maximum here is called a crest. So the heel, the heel is a crest. This one that seems to be the ditch is called a trough. So what we're saying is, as the wave moves and up and down, it creates two regions. One is called a crest, and the other one is called a trough. Now, what about longitudinal? Longitudinal, on the other hand, the vibration of particles is parallel to the direction of the wave travel. Now we have said for transverse, uh, just emphasize is that the direction of a wave travel is perpendicular to the vibration of particles. So particles are moving up and down, but the wave is moving across. Now, for, trans, uh, for longitudinal now, Now, the animation you see on the right hand side of your screen shows a slinky spring being moved to and fro. So as it's moved to and fro, the waveform there are generated uh, looks like this. If you take a screenshot of that wave as it moves, just take a very quick snap. Uh, snapshot that is, it would look something like this. Now you'll notice there are regions where the waves seem to be, that is the coils seem to be further apart and there will be other regions where they will be uh, closer. Now, the regions where they seem to be further, that's called the rare faction. All right? And the region where they are much closer is called a compression. Next, we are going to look at some key definitions. So, definitions. I want us to base our definition on the following diagram, the following figure. Extend that a little bit like that. So the y axis will give us distance, uh, probably in centimeters. And the x-axis will give us time in seconds. Now, the first definition is what is called the amplitude. Amplitude. So our definition number one is 
amplitude. Now, what is amplitude? Amplitude can be defined as the maximum displacement on either side of the mean position. Now, this is the mean position. So the x-axis is like the mean position. Then we have the positive y and the negative y. So this displacement here, that is on the y's uh, uh, positive side, or this one here, which is on the y negative side, then that is called displacement. For example, if this distance, let's take it to be 10, 10 centimeters, then we can see or we can say the amplitude of this wave is 10 centimeters. Next, so this is maximum displacement on either side of the mean position. Number two, we're going to define the wavelength. Now, wavelength, remember I just mentioned that the heel is called the crest and the ditch is called the trough. So, the wavelength is defined as the distance between two successive crests or troughs. So, if this is the first crest and this is the second crest, if you'd measure the distance between them, that would give you the wavelength. Or one trough and another trough, if you'd equally measure the distance, that would be the wavelength. So wavelength is distance between two successive crests or troughs. Our third definition is going to be frequency. Now, uh, the SI unit uh, of wavelength uh, is the meter. Now, frequency is usually represented by small f. Frequency is actually the number of complete cycles per second. Now, what do we mean by a cycle? A cycle is when you combine a crest and a trough. For example, you move to the maximum displacement, come down to the mean position, go down to the maximum displacement again, and come back to zero. So that is a crest and that is a trough. So if we represent a crest like that and a trough like that, that and that will give us one cycle. So for example, this curve or this wave here on your screen, on the diagram has one, two cycles. Now, if you now count the number of complete cycles that are made per second, for example, if this here is, let's say 0 0.5, 1.0, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.
time taken to complete one oscillation. In short, if I would take this, for example, I change the values. So let's, for example, change the values. Uh, let's this, for example, be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4. Now, if you look at this, time taken to complete one oscillation, this is one oscillation and it's taken 0 0.2 seconds. So we can say the period of this wave is 0 0.2 seconds. So time taken to complete one oscillation, that is period and its unit again is second. So again measured in second. So in this case, for example, our period T is 0 0.2 second. Now, there's a connection between frequency and period, and I, I'm not using this 0 0.2, this is not, uh, in all the cases, this is just as an example so I can wrap that, so that we understand this. Frequency and periodic time have a relationship such that frequency would give you 1 over t, and equally t would give you 1 over f. So if you have frequency, you can get the periodic time. And if you have the periodic time, you can equally get the frequency. Well, uh, that marks the end of today's lesson. Uh, remember today we are looking at waves 1. And we have said that in summary, a wave is the transmission of a disturbance. And that there are two general categories of waves. That is electromagnetic and mechanical. Electromagnetic waves, we have seen, do not require a material medium for transmission. That means they can travel in vacuum. Whereas mechanical waves do require a material medium for transmission. That means they cannot travel in a vacuum. We have further looked at the other category of waves, that is longitudinal and transverse. And we have seen that longitudinal waves, they have what is called rarefactions and compressions, whereas transverse waves have got crests and troughs. We have finally looked at some key definitions and the first was amplitude being the maximum displacement on either side of the mid position and the wavelength being the distance between two successive crests or two successive troughs and we have also looked at the frequency being the number of complete oscillations made per second and also we have looked at period which is the time taken to complete one oscillation. Next time we are going to solve a numerical problem. So, so make sure to join me next time. This is Top Brain only on MSS Television.